Hi everybody, it's Crystal from Baguette Crochet. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe today. So today I have, uh, I was going to show you some yarn I got from Hobium. I haven't ordered from Hobium. This is probably the first time I've ordered from Hobium in about a year. Now, if you're not familiar with Hobium, they're based in Turkey. Now, they used to be my favorite store to buy from that was out of the United States. Unfortunately, um, <laughs> I like the wool warehouse now is my number one choice. But Hobium would probably be second. But like I said, I, I haven't bought from them in, a, I think, about a year. Um, I just stopped buying from them for some reason. I, there's no reason really why, I don't think. I mean, they always have good, good customer service and they, you know, they always ship very fast and, um, you know, it gets here, they ship DHL Express and I'm not sure. Um, I think maybe there was a time I noticed their prices going up and I kind of just laid low for a while. And, but then when I looked the other day, it looked like maybe their prices had leveled back down. I don't know, but for some reason I was, I was, uh, just thought I would buy from them since they had been so long for me doing that. So first thing off, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like and a share if you, if you like it. Remember, I do do crochet tutorials. I have almost 900, well, at the making of this video, which is 2A 2022, 900 on my channel almost. And I put them on a few times a week. So keep a lookout for those along with my yarn content. So let's go ahead and get started. So it came today DHL, like I said, they ship uh, relatively fast. They ship all over the place. Um, shipping is different depending on where you live. I live in the States, I, in the state of Illinois, and I do not pay any customs or duties on my boxes or anything like that. So for, in the US, I don't. I'm sure that you do in other, in other countries. Uh, if you normally do, you, you will. But, um, cause some people ask me that about Hobium if you have to. And let's see, they do have free shipping, but you have to pay, you have to spend, I think it's $150 to get free shipping. But if you can get up to that, it's well worth it. Cause otherwise your shipping could be, it's not really that bad considering where it's coming from. Um, I know how much it, it's a lot cheaper than ice yarn shipping. If you've ever seen theirs. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and look. Oh no. So the first thing I, I noticed some some differences here. It's been a while, so they were shipped in boxes, which is awesome. Um, they I always like it when places from um, far away. Actually, I like it when all companies ship in boxes, but especially if they're far away. Nice DA yellow, bright yellow DHL boxes. They used to be brown Hobium boxes. All right. So um, the first thing I got is some. This is Atrophil. It's a nice brand of yarn that Hobium sells. It's called Bambino. Lux wool. So at Hobium, you can buy by the ball or you can buy by the pack. And the packs have different amounts in them. It's always cheaper to buy by the pack. 10% 10, 10 cheaper if you buy the pack. So um, they are, no, at today, they're having a sale, I noticed. But anyway, so this is what this is. It's very pretty. Um, I have had this before, but it has been a very long time since I've had it. They have a lot of colors. It's 60 merino wool and 40 acrylic. There are 174 yards in this ball and I'm going to say it's probably a DK weight on that. So I like this. Like I said, I've had it before and the colors are very, very pretty. Now, um, these are normally, they're, they're on sale right now, but I'll give you the regular price. They are cheaper at the moment, but they are a dollar thirty each normally or if you buy the te a 10 pack of them you'll get them for a dollar 12 12 each i guess that's right but that's pretty good so uh yeah they have um mo the, most of these yards are gonna be made in turkey so i like it it feels good um i mean you know being a wool acrylic blend, it, it's good enough, you know, to make a sweater or something out of. So I got it in this purple, and I also got it in this beautiful sea foam green as well. I won't open up that package since it's already in there, but it's very pretty. Love it. Um, I'll that here. Um, I've always loved one of my favorite yarns at Hobium was always their bamboo. They have bamboo, 100% bamboo. I've always loved it. And I always, 
used I don't have any of it here anymore I do have tutorials made out of it um, on my channel so this is the Lamia bamboo it's 100% bamboo bamboo is a very nice yarn it's soft slicky has a beautiful drape and a beautiful beautiful shine on it there's 125 yards 1.3 seven six ounces of 100 percent bamboo it is a lightweight number three now these are uh normally 223 a pack or they come in a six pack you could get 10 cents or 10 percent uh cheaper i think they're giving me the sale price so i'm just gonna say it's 10 percent cheaper if you buy all a six pack of them so i got the red which is beautiful. I have a shawl on my channel made out of the red. You should check it out. It's very, very pretty. The drape on it was magnificent. And I got this beautiful cream color as well. Champagne. Champagne color. We'll call it that. Okay, next up I have their La Mia Just Wool. Which explains exactly what it is. It is 100% wool. And I've always liked this. has always been my favorite one. Look at the brown with all the multicolored flecks in it. So it's um, a 50 gram ball, 126 yards of recycled wool, and it's classified as a lightweight three. It's not a bad lightweight three though. So for being 100% wool, it really doesn't feel bad. I would still wear it. I think it's uh, semi, so skim, I know it's, I'd wear a scarf out of it and it would keep you warm. Like I said, it's not a bad feeling wool. I think it's so pretty. So these run um, a dollar, normally $1.24 a ball. If you buy a 10 pack of them, you will get 10% off of that. But look, I'm, like I said, they're having a sale, so it's actually cheaper. That is pretty. So I, that one is my is my favorite color of theirs, but they do have other colors. I did get this one as well. I won't open it up because I hate to open them if they're not open, but it is a burgundy with the multi-color flex too. Isn't that pretty? I love that stuff. Um, I used to always buy this in their bamboo every time I used to used to purchase from them. Okay, next up they had this. This stuff was when I bought it was extremely inexpensive, and it still is. I don't know if they're clearancing it out or not. I remember this stuff used to be like five, over five dollars a ball um, at one time. They actually only have one color left, and they still only have one color left. But it's my favorite color, so I had to get it. This is, the, it's brown, look at that, that is so pretty. This is their Gazal, which is a nice brand, Tango yarn. Now it is a very lightweight yarn, probably like a sport weight. Now I don't normally like to put two strands of yarn together, it's just, I don't like to crochet that way. But it was so inexpensive, I had to get it. I thought that if I did want to crochet with it, I could put two together or it would make excellent giveaway or whatever, because it's it was, you can't, I couldn't really pass up the price. A dollar, regular, a dollar thirty-one a ball is what it is, and that's that's it. You, I mean, this stuff used to be over, I don't know, five dollars a ball, but like I said, they only have one color left. It's twenty acrylic and seventy polyamide and ten merino, three hundred yards. So this is, I don't know if you have ever seen like the rock and roll yarn or the rock star yarn or Pat's metallic, those type of metallic looking yarns. That's what this is. But it's very, it's just like a sport weight number two. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it shine. It looks like chocolate, like a Hershey bar. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyways, it's a dollar thirteen right now. That's less than what I paid for it at the time. I paid a dollar thirty-one. But that is well, I paid less actually. I got a 10 pack, so it was 10% 10, 10 off of that. But those are so pretty. And I thought that I could hold two together and make that the rape on a shawl up with that would be so beautiful. Or if I decide that I don't want to use it because it's too lightweight, someone will be very happy to get it in a giveaway, I'm certain. Okay, so they got new bags since the last time. They used to have small uh, canvas bags. This says, this is, says Hobium. And it's got some knitting on it. Um, it's not canvas, but it is a big market bag type thing. Looks pretty strong. So you get that for free. I think if you spend over $50, I'm pretty certain that's what it said. 
What's this stuff? I've never seen them send anything in a box. Baby Merino print by Rico. I love Rico yarns. So a lot of places sell Rico. But I seen this there and I had to get it. It's cool it came in a box. Let's open it up and check it out. I didn't think it was that much money either for Ooh, they're tiny. <laughs> they're babies. Look. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So these are normally they're like I, I keep saying they, they they are having a sale today, but normally they're a dollar thirty-four a ball or a dollar fifty-six a ball, I'm sorry, on a regular price. And if you buy the 10 pack, which I did, it is 10% off. So it's 100% new wool and it is 109 yards. It's really thin. Now, I, I couldn't tell what weight it was. That's the thing with Hobium. They don't always tell the weight. And sometimes you just have to get, guess. But I do love Arico. Um, it is a very small ball of yarn. But, uh, you know, it's super pretty. It feels fine. That looks like it would knit up something really nice. If I only knew how to knit. But I don't. So I got this one, 100% virgin wool. It doesn't feel bad at all. It's, you know, you can make wear a scarf out of it or something. It says it's for a baby. So, and even has a thing here for baby sweater, how much you need and stuff. Well, the collar of this one is called Hardy, I think. I don't know. Anyways, so I got that. That is so neat. This is what it looks like knitted up. That's so cool. That one's really pretty. I like it. I did get it in another color too. I'm going to keep it in the box. So it's a shame it's so lightweight. I was kind of hoping. I mean, it looked a little wide. I was hoping at least the DK, preferably a four weight, but I don't know. Sometimes you just don't get what we want, do we? You don't always get what you want i seen that to my kids all the time they hate it they get mad <laughs> and i got this one i think i like this color even better that is beautiful 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 yarn rico yarns is a very very to me i love rico yarns i think it's a very nice yarn brand um it's just a shame that it's so lightweight i have arthritis and I, it's easier for me to use a four weight and above um but that is so gorgeous mm. I don't know. I can make an exception for it, but it is a very light, lightweight yarn. Well, it's probably a sport weight. That's that's a bit much for me. Man, that is some pretty stuff, though. I'm not. I'm not upset that. Uh, that is. I, I wish it was a heavier weight, but I'm not upset that it's not. That's what it looks like there. That's so pretty. So pretty. I need someone to knit me something. Did this get brighter in here for some reason? So a dollar fifty six. It is on sale now though. In the picture it looks a lot thicker. Just remember though it's going to be um like a two weight yarn. So if you decide to get that. Then I got some of their Etrofil baby cashmere. <laughs> it's very very similar to uh yarns I got from Ice. Actually it's the exact same thing and just branded different. <laughs> And um, I've had this a bunch of times before. It's very pretty yarn. And it's very soft. So these are normally, they're on sale, but normally $6.22 a hank, which is not a bad price. Or you get them even less than $6 a hank if you buy a five pack of them. Not a lot of cashmere in here, but it's very, very soft. Very scarfable. I've always loved this yarn. They have so many more colors now than what they used to. It's so pretty. Uh, I had a hard time choosing what color to get. But it is classified as a lightweight 3. I always thought it was more like a 4 weight though. I always thought it was. 10% cashmere, 90% polyamide, 246 yards. Mm -hmm. So pretty. So pretty. So I got that. I do, hey, I do have a tutorial for this hat on my channel. If you check it out under my hat playlist, you'll find it. If you go to my main channel page, uh, you'll find it under my hat playlist. Okay, and these were new. Uh, with something that I've never seen at Hobium before. 
um, they call Big Mama. Okay, here's the Big Mama. Not really that big, but let's open it up and look at it. Uh, feels fine, kind of like an average acrylic yarn. These run $7.78 on a regular price. These are 100% acrylic and there are 1200 meters. So 1200 meters is uh, just a little over 1300 yards of this. And I think that this is probably going to be classified as a, uh, a thicker DK. Uh, DK is the lightweight three. So I, they only had the two colors at the making, or the two colors whenever I uh, bought this in this, uh, the pink. And then I got like a uh, kind of like a, uh, I don't know what you call that one, stone, light gray color, kind of white, I guess. So I got those as well. And then I saw this and I thought it looked very familiar to a yarn I have from my brand. It's actually probably the exact same yarn. They re they recycled the yarn that they have at my brand. This is La Mia Retweed. So maybe if you guys have ever shopped on lionbrand.com, you'll know that this is the exact same thing as their uh, recycled yarn that they have. Even almost down to the labeling is pretty much similar. So this is a four weight yarn, um, 202 yards of 40% wool, 20% acrylic, and it is recycled yarn. Feels okay. Feels like it's a little stiff, but not too bad. Um, this is two dollars a ball at Hobium. Ten cents if you ten or ten percent off if you buy a five pack. So it's very pretty. I like it. That'd be a pretty bag. Oh, a nice warm hat. I don't know. Let's see, but it is pretty. And yes, it's the exact same thing that Lion Brand has. You'll notice that with a lot of companies. They, you know. Yeah, it's the same yarns, different labels. Okay, next up I got, uh, this is called Lauren Happy. See that? It's pretty, isn't it? Pretty variegated yarn. It feels good too. It's 100% acrylic, um, 185 yards, made, you know, made in Turkey. These yarns will be. It's a four weight. It's a nice four weight too. Good, that's nice. Um, so these run a dollar eighty-five a ball on a regular price. They got uh, lots of pretty colors. Um, it's almost an exact replica, if not, of some yarn that um, made from Elise. I think it is. I think it is. It might be Nico. I can't remember. Ice has a, re a replica as well. <laughs> it's fun seeing and finding yarns that are the exact same. But this is nice. I have had this before and it feels good. Um, it is a variegated busy yarn, but it's still nice. Okay, next up is their Trend Kicks. Again, I have had these before and they are beautiful, 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 beautiful yarn. I think this one. They always come undone on me though. Isn't that pretty? Look at that stuff. That is pretty. So, this is it. So this is a stripe, self-striping. It's a medium weight number four. I agree with that. I do. It's 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 a hundred percent acrylic, three hundred and sixty-one yards per cake. It feels nice too. That is such a pretty color. Actually, I have. I meant. Did I say I've had these before? I have had these before, and they are just so pretty. Look at that. And they have such pretty colors too. It's hard to decide, but. I just decided on the green. I think I decided on it last time too. <laughs> I might have had another color as well. Maybe a black one before, but I can't remember. But the trend cakes run four nineteen a piece. They are a bit cheaper now, but that's what they run on a regular. Or if you buy a three pack of them, you get that ten percent off. All oh, those colors are very bright and vivid. They're very pretty. This is a very nice yarn. I've always liked this yarn. I always thought it was very pretty. Okay, now this is new to me and I've never had it before. 
I, I knew that it was going to be lightweight and that I wouldn't be able to use it, but I wanted to still get it to look at it because I like to get yarns that I've never had or never seen before. So this is kind of a very extremely subtle ombre yarn, but it looks very, very pretty. This is uh, Atrophil. There's the name. And it is organic. Hmm. So these run 840 a cake. One, um, they got about 12 different collars. You know, they're all solid, like a very subtle ombres. These are 55 cotton, 45 acrylic, about 800 yards. So there is enough there to make you a shawl. So this would be very beautiful. I wish this was not such a lightweight yarn. It's really, I guess it's, it's lightweight, but it's not as bad as some of those hobby cakes. That's really not that bad. I don't know. I might be able to pull that off and make a dainty shawl out of that. It's a little thicker than what I thought it would be. Some of those things are so thin. That's probably like a really light three weight or a thicker two. That's pretty. I like it. So those are, that's just a straight price. Oh, you can buy a two pack, I guess, and get them 10 cents or 10% cheaper. But I just bought this one in this uh, peach, kind of peachy orange color. It's very pretty, isn't it? I love that one. That's beautiful. It got a lot of pretty colors in it. And I think that is just about it. I got the, oh, I got the Lamia Boom. I like the Lamia Boom. It's, it's nice. I've had it before. I've made hats out of it for Hat Not Hate. Uh, I always thought it was nice. This is, I got, I got an input navy. I love navy blue. It's my favorite blue. So these are um, on a regular $1.74 a piece. Unless you buy them by the five pack. They are 10% cheaper. So this is the Boom Plus. They have a, 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 a Boom that's a thinner weight, but the Boom Plus is a four weight and man did i make some beautiful hats on my addy knitting machine with this yarn right here they were so pretty it feels really nice i like this yarn it's anti-peeling acrylic yarn is what it is 100 percent, 175 yards medium weight number four it's nice i like it feels good like i said i've had it made tons of hats for hat not hate out of this yarn and they looked so awesome on my knitting machine so that is what I got from Hobium. That's my Hobium haul, pretty much. I think that's it. I got some Boom in orange. Oh, I got these colors of Boom because I thought maybe I could put them together because I like the Boom a lot and make a project. So I got this orange and the navy because I think orange and blue go pretty good together. And this brown. Tell me what you think in the comments. Yay, nay, here. I'm going to have to hold them up. I'm getting ready to go so you don't have to listen to me anymore. I know, I always say it. There's only so much a bag of day that person can handle. And I think everybody's going to agree with you on, on that one. But I'm going to hold these three up. And you let me know if they would work well in a project together. Because if they will, I think I have a nice pretty stitch that would look good with them. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I could have just been wishing I don't know if that blues might be clashing there with that I think those two go good I think those two go good but I don't know about adding that blue it's definitely be something different I'm not big on playing with colors I usually do most of my stuff in solid <laughs> or self striping yarn that comes pre-caked like this so I <laughs> I can color control it and I don't have to worry about it but um yeah, it doesn't look bad, I guess, but it might look better on their own like that. So I like that. You can let me know in the comments. All right, I'm going to go. Um, I appreciate everybody watching, 
and I'm glad that you stuck with me. I hope that you did anyways. And I'll see you on my next video. I'm certain I'll see you really soon. Um, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be very hard for me to pick a favorite. But before I go, if I did, it would probably be, even though I probably will never be able to use it. I love this Rico baby wool. I like the way it's presented. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels because I love wool. I just don't like the weight of it. But it, it is variegated too, but I don't know why it's just, maybe them putting it in a little box together like that got me. They tricked me and they put it in a cute little box to make me like it more. That's it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you. Okay. Stay safe. Bye guys.